You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. On the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for the young and the restless. We'll break down the week's episodes and get you all the latest young and the restless news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for the young and the restless. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, welcome back in a happy new year. Happy new year. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome back, everybody, all of my Y and R fans. Did you miss us? Like, did you really miss us? Because we back. <laughs> and we are back with so much to talk about. Oh, my goodness. We have so much to talk about. And without any further ado, you know, I just wanted you heard the beautiful voice in the house. That's all the way from Chicago on the phone lines. We have Miss Granny Z in the house always. How you doing, Miss Granny Z? Hi. Hello. How's everybody? California. <laughs> yes, how, hello, everybody <laughs> in the world, actually, because you know this worldwide, Granny. Yes. This is all over. We got people calling and coming in and tuning in from all over. So, definitely, you said something about I heard that the weather's pretty good out there. How's the weather going in, in January? Yeah, for the you? weather well, is great for Chicago. Yeah. For Chicago, Illinois, it is great. No wow. snow, no ice. Mm. But, um, Hey, we enjoying it. And we just blessed, and some people are, it's a problem because there's there's uh, funds are not coming in right. from shoving the snow and equipment. So it's Man. good on one hand, and it's half, you know it's, different it's, on the it's, other it's, hand it's, it's, for the for the hustlers yeah, for out the there. Citizens, it's good. No right, sniffing right. in class. <laughs> <laughs> no sniffing in class. <laughs> I can definitely <laughs> dig that. And also, we have in the booth keeping us always sounding good, looking good. You know, we got you know. My man, Street Dr. Phil, is back in the house. What's up, Street Dr. Phil? How you doing, brother? I'm doing well. How about you guys? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Hello, Street Dr. Phil. <laughs> Hello, Granny <laughs> Z. Greetings from Chicago, from Granny Z. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, Jesse is, our DJ Jesse, everybody, is out on vacation. He shall be back soon, so we miss you, Jesse. But, you know, we're going to take us straight yes. into the meat and the potatoes of this because, you know, it's been some interesting things. And I was talking to Granny Z, and I was like, Granny, what do you think will be a, a good theme for this week? And we just got to say, oh, my God, a week of surprises. And I yes. think that's the best thing to say going into the new year because I think the YNR did it right, you know, starting off the first year in the new year. And we just want to jump straight in to, okay, we're going to go on a little lighter side. And I knew this was going to happen because they were beating around the bush with Victoria and Billy and this chick, uh, this Chelsea chick in Neymar. Okay, so that was really what it was. I'm thinking this whole time there was somebody got killed or something happened. Never was I thinking that there was a baby or somebody that was pregnant involved inside of all of wow. this. You know, Granny, what are, what are you thinking about this right that, now? That blew my mind. And she she is so forceful. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I'm like, huh? I'm, I'm always like... I slap my TV. You know, I'm, in there I'm staying here for the results, and you all gonna take care of me. And this thing, I'm like, wow. But I can't figure out is Victor behind that or someone else. Well, see, you know how Victoria went you to know, the to courthouse and spoke to Victor, just like you know, how much did you have to pay her to come? You know, because it's just so like you. He looking at <laughs> Victor. No, he got them looks like he ain't did nothing wrong. Like. Are well, you see, kidding you're the me? Kid, you're the kid college, you know? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why would I do something like that to my daughter? I love you dearly, daughter. I'm just trying to protect you. Why would I do that to you, honey? <laughs> But in, in, in the meanwhile, while he's trying to protect her, you know, he went off. That's fine, bro. And they gave up. Right. Back. <laughs> it, right. It's just like I'm at one end. And that's why she just put her hands on her head just like. 
Oh, dad, 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 you are a piece of, uh, you definitely are a piece of work. But I just find that interesting. As soon as they get themselves back together, trying to go get a baby. Now, what I'm, and this is maybe a little early thing in the prediction, what I'm thinking that she might end up doing is they may end up somehow convincing her to let them keep that baby since it's Billy's already. You know, I'm thinking that that may happen somehow. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I know that's early for predictions, but I'm just thinking that that may happen. That's why they brung her on, but it's there to cause ruckus. I mean, she can't have kids. Yes. This chick can have kids, and she don't, you know, where this chick come from? You know, he really wasn't gone that long, you know. Right, he, and and then after all, you know, she disappeared when Kane went down there to talk to her. Right. And she like, I don't talk to strangers. And then, you know, uh, Victoria and uh, Jill went looking for her. Billy. Uh, Billy. Right, and right, right. So they all was there and everybody like kind of fold up. Mm -hmm. And maybe they realized the money that was involved and everybody was rich and what have you. So I really, the more I think about it, I, I don't know because she made that phone call, but I wasn't able to figure out who she was talking to. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if Victor's behind it or someone else. Hmm. from that country, you know, is pushing it for money. That's she just, right. And then she's going to come in at first looking all, you know, rattle and, and kind of tacky. Right. And then she's in the most expensive hotel in the town and mm. her hair's up nicely in a nice maternity dress. Oh, come on. She didn't step it well, up, so she got some funding behind her. Some funding, yes, yes. <laughs> That's why Victoria was just like, Dad, I know. I already know it. I'm telling you, I'm just I'm, I'm imagining Victor's facial expressions right now. <laughs> he puts that silent look on like, what are you talking about, me? <laughs> now, yeah, but he, the surprises is, I mean, did that come out of the blue from you? That uh, Sean, he was proposed to Sean? Oh, my goodness. Is that the keeper from... from uh, Adam, well, Adam? <laughs> well, you saw what? when Adam what came, you saw when Adam came into the jail today uh, on Thursday. He was just like, "Hey, sir, hey, my boy, I thought you was out there running my company." <laughs> he was like, "Dad, that was a slick move. I didn't even see that one coming." <laughs> 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 it's a sort of surprises because it's just popping up like popcorn. And then Phyllis, we know she's good. She's, oh, she's good at what she does. But she's the good. point is, she really got Billy wrapped up when that guy, when and when Paul's son said, now, now wait a minute, you gonna, you gonna give me a job. Right, you, I right. I how you gonna work it, but right. I, I want a job. You but got a job, I want a job. She made a good point, and though. Worked, and then she got hired him, too. Right. <laughs> she, she went and worked, Billy. She just like, listen, if we don't hire him, the same way he can get she she worked her tactics i was like that's what's up phyllis i mean she worked that the writers are they are whew. that's great i mean oh, wow that was excellent unless that she was, made that, that up herself like she she didn't come off the top i know a lot of times they got to be able to get those strips because you know i know a couple of them and they got to be able to sometimes right. they get them immediately so they have to just be able to go with it but i mean right. She that was smart thinking, and I mean, and it was a good business move in general. Just because when you have somebody that does have those type of skills, you they are an asset, and I'm a firm believer. Any big business, you know, you should bring on people that have the skills. Yeah. Now you don't want to snake, people. you know, you don't want to snake, right. but you know, it is it is interesting. So now Phyllis back in the bed with Nick. What's up with that? Well, that 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 is no surprise there. <laughs> uh, that that part is no surprise. And Avery, because she, Phyllis is uh, is in competition with her sister. Right, sister, sister's in competition with her. So that I wasn't. That was no surprise. But the surprise is uh, with the the lady showing up with the baby, mm -hmm. and she she showed up all tattered and. And, you know, the coat wasn't fitting, the hair was out of place. Right. And then she go into the most expensive hotel in town mm. and all groomed. And then she has so much nerve, you know, like. Like, yeah. Oh, how did he know? He ha Like he was in love with her. He right. Was, like he said, he, he's not sure what happened. But because he was, you know, intoxicated and drinking and, and, you know, the world was against him and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So she used that. Now, I mean, you know, it, and then, you know, look how Phyllis, because, you know, Phyllis' baby is really not mixed. 
Mm. That's Jack's baby. They That's going to that. come out. So right. Phyllis going to get, well, I, we're not into prediction yet, but anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I definitely think that that's going to take place. Now, what's going on with Patty and all her divert, all her plans to get Genevieve keep backfiring? Like, is she not? Genevieve well, is protected by some angels because... She ended up poisoning Jack by accident. She tried to, you know, get her tripped on the stairs, and Jack was there to catch right. her. All these different things are happening, and now she's about to move in, and then they hired the private investigator, and see, she don't know that he hired Paul. Right. So, you so know. That's why I, the, the funny part right there is when Paul find out that that's Patty, I think Paul, Paul will find out that Patty is, is who she is the maid mm -hmm. before Roman does. Mm. So I don't know if Paul is going to protect her right. or I'm going to blow her cover. But by her staying at the house, she's going to be able to really do some things since uh, the, the uh, Jack's uh, fiancé figured that's her husband doing it. So mm. she's going to work that to her advantage. But Jack already asked her to move in and she agreed to move into the mansion. I understand that, but Patty, remember, Patty says, I'm going to stay here. He has a housekeeper. And they said, well, you're always welcome. But she's going to really be setting up plots now because right. they won't be looking at her. She's going to try to get rid of the lady because the lady is suspicious of her husband. You know, she's going to come back in at Pat, uh, Dr. Peterson. I can guarantee, because I saw them bring the cat back. <laughs> I saw them bring the cat back. And when I saw yeah, that, I was yeah. just like, she, because she, I saw right at the corner, she was thinking like, how do I get in? And knowing that she's not at that house all the time, she's coming back as Dr. Peterson boldly, I think. But and now, you must remember, Dr. Peterson is allergic to cats. Right. Now, either she's going to have to make up her mind to keep that cat, or either said the cat ran away looking for Jack's son. Mm, <laughs> after he left and go to boarding school, I guess he's going to go to boarding right. school if and he, come if, back if an adult. If he comes back at Dr. Peterson, she's got to get rid of that cat. Mm. Mm. How did the cat, I missed that part. Where did the cat come from? Again, now, I know well, it came from, know, where did it come back the, from? Well, the cat, well, the cat, uh, she liked cats. And I don't know I, actually how the cat got into the picture, but Patty loved cats. Well, and I know it got into the picture cat. by Genevieve. Genevieve gave it to to the little boy. Right, because she thought it was a stray cat wandered right. in the house. And so she gave the cat to Jack's son. Right, exactly. So then the cat disappeared. But right. now it just came back after all these weeks. Where did it come from? Well, I think Patty had the cat. Because mm. I think she had the cat, but if she comes back as Dr. Peterson, she's got to get rid of that cat because Dr. Peterson was alert, allergic to cats. That is true. That is definitely true. Mm. But I, if she stay in that house, she can work it. I'm a. Ma I just want to see how she's gonna how the plot is gonna be revealed. But you made a good point. I do believe Paul's gonna see him first because every time Paul sees his sister, he acts like he don't know his job anymore. So I True. really do. Believe that's that's what the, you back to family. Right, you know? right, right, right. You back to family, and and when you know Jack and and Billy really, they was kind of distance, although they're brothers. But when 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 uh, Billy got down to the nilly gritty, you know, like what's happening, he's always like going around what happened over there. Right, right, right. But he's like, I got to tell somebody this is, this is really. I love my wife. What mm -hmm. am I gonna do? You know. That's and right. If it's a baby, my wife. I mean, if that's really a stick. Oh, Victoria, my heart goes out to us. <laughs> but she's gonna stick by her man. She said. Yeah, and and that's the other part, and and you know. <clears throat> <sighs> that's a difficult situation. You know, that's, that, a, difficult that, that's situation. a difficult situation because they were still married when she went out and did that. You know what I'm saying? Even though he decided to go away and leave, you know, she, she wasn't expecting him to have a tail hanging behind him. It's one thing already dealing with Chloe and that whole portion she had to be. But now Victoria pushed him away now. He, he, you know, he was trying and she just kept pushing him away. It's your fault, your fault. If you hadn't about the baby, we wouldn't have lost the baby, blah, blah, blah. And so mm -hmm. Billy, like, hey, I'm I'm out of here, right. but didn't know he was gonna get into all of that trouble, and it's just so coincident that Victor was able to bring him back and hold this over his head. So I I I I, I Victor might be behind the lady showing up. It's strange she showed up as soon as they got married. Right, I I think so too. I I really believe that Victor has 
something to do with it. Really quick, I just want to let everybody know out there in uh, in uh, our global world right now, we are <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely at the AfterBuzz studio. We are the YNR Recaps. Please make sure that you call in. Call in, tune in at uh, 424-256-1729. Again, right to the bottom here, we have 424-256-1729. You can also go to iTunes, everybody. Make sure you click on iTunes and go to search after buzz tv search and then go to the young and the restless recap show or the ynr recap show and download the show people there are millions of you out here watching the young and the restless every day it is the best daytime talk show on for years and years and years over 30 plus years so therefore definitely tune in we are just talking about the current things that are happening out there so we're going to yeah, get right back into it yeah all the drama. drama that's happening like Victor, okay. Victor comes back in. He he knows it's Victor. He knows he knows he's doing. He like when I get told Adam, you cannot provide what I can. He gave that letter to Michael. <laughs> he didn't even tell Michael what it is. Just take it to the judge. <laughs> but you know what, Grandma? But, 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 you see how money works from the jail. Granny Z. Working from the jail. Oh my! That's why Victor ain't tripping. That's why he he had to chill. Listen, it ain't cool to be up locked up behind nobody bars. You that chill where you don't want to get out because you still running things. You know, <laughs> you can tell you a pop, you a pop. <laughs> he walked in and Big Dad had this smile on his face. What's up there, boy? Uh, he thought you should have been running my company. <laughs> Adam don't know what to do. He shut you down, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Bless her heart. I, but I was kind of shocked. I didn't think she would accept that ring. But the more they uh, bring her down, of course, that's usually the norm. The more they talk about her, the more she's powerful. She hasn't said yes, but she's going to say yes. You think she's going to say yes, Granny? <laughs> of course. Of course. Money talks. And she see how she keeps holding up looking at it? <laughs> <laughs> what Phyllis say? She got this Arango the size of Cleveland. <laughs> 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 that is just bold though that is bold for victor to even that is that is disrespectful i i would be boiling i would be boiling if my dad went and tried to uh, you know marry my ex fiance like i would be boiling like are you kidding me let alone my brother you know that was already one step too far but then my daddy like whoa 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 but that case was already rigged he didn't have a chance in the world to win that case it was already rigged that dude was going to do victor that favor regardless and that's what sucks about the system because the system is the same way they already got it rigged and if you ain't got no power if you ain't got no money and you ain't got no prayer i'm telling you you all to pieces because Victor said, I mean, uh, Nicholas is a multimillionaire. He won $500 million from his daddy, but he still didn't have the same power and reach that his daddy had, you know, from them relationships. I tell you. Granny Z. Granny Z, you in there? I don't know. I think it, Phil, Phil, did we lose Miss Granny Z on the phone line? Uh, I, let me call her once more. Yeah, Maybe the I think, connection got lost. I think we definitely lost her. But anyway, we're going to keep going right into everybody. Again, we are definitely call in 424. That's 256 1729. We got some technical difficulties. You know, we got Granny Z calling in. Um, so you could definitely hit us up at After Buzz TV. But also, you can check me out as well on www.lov923.com. And anybody out there that you're trying to pay your Sprint cell phone bills, T Mobile, uh, if you're trying to change over your service, says internet cable whatever the case may be go to www.lov923.com click on the icons there the sprint icon that you see the ads etc and then go and take care of your services you're going to be getting discounts probably anywhere between 25 to 85 percent so definitely check out lov923.com everybody so phil what's going on have we got her back in place uh we should granny are you there yes okay what happened granny but I don't know. I, I, I'm getting a feedback. It's a double talk. <coughs> oh, it's a double talk? I don't yes. hear it. What you want to do about that, Phil? He's working on it right now, everybody. Huh. <clears throat> so I just want to talk really quick, you know, while, while we're taking care of that, that double feedback thing about, you know, the ad 
<laughs> I mean, not the ad, but the new story that they put on the front cover. Did you see the picture that they put Sharon's head smiling on a little baby's body? That was pure oh. classic. Mm. <laughs> Talking about gimme, gimme. <laughs> Phyllis. Phyllis knew she was taking it in when she did that one now. That one was a classic. Give me, give me, and put Sharon's head on a baby's body. Granny Z, are, are we? Are you still hearing their feedback? Uh, no, it sounds okay right now. Okay, what did you think about that? Ad, the the cover of Restless uh, Now. That that was that's Phyllis, typical Phyllis. <laughs> you, yeah, you still have a feedback. We still got some feedback. Yes. Okay, we're going to be working on that. Just keep talking to you. That's typical Phyllis. Yes, definitely. I, but it's genius. It's selling magazines, you know. Oh, yes. It, 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 it yes. is getting the job done. And when you get the job done, people cannot deny, deny necessarily that factor. Um, do you think that Avery and Nick are going to get back together again, or do you think it's over? Uh, I think they will be friends, mm -hmm. but it won't be as uptight as it was before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. She gave him that look and as soon as she needed him, he was right she was right there in the courtroom, you know, which is pretty again, I just gotta go back to Victor and this power that he has, you know what I'm saying, with him pulling them favors. It's just all about being able to know the right connections, knowing the right people, you know, in general. Is that feedback working better for you, Grandy Z? Uh yes, it's sounding better. Okay, perfect. Definitely perfect, definitely perfect. Now what I want to talk to you about, too, was uh, what is going on with the fight? How did you feel about the fight with Nikki and Sharon when they finally con con confronted one another? You know, w what's going on? Like, do you? I, I thought that was really, really, that was very interesting. Nikki was red on it. And, of course, she told Sharon, remember, I was once in your shoes. Mm. So. But one thing about it, my family loves me. My mm. children loves me. And you uh, making it real bad for you and your children, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and Nick and all. So I, I, I can't, I really can't understand Sharon on both hands because she, I believe she actually loves her children. Right. But she seems to put everything before them, mm. you know. And so it's, um, the strip is really good, but I just, I, I really was kind of surprised at her accepting uh well she haven't accepted but she's going to i believe you I just really will. believe that she uh, will uh, she uh, is Victor's playing it proposal right she is playing it. she keep looking at it she keep wearing it like i mean that's a bold move and then she keeps yeah. telling everybody as you know it's not my idea it's your dad's idea but it's just like you still wearing the ring you still have a choice in this like yes how are you going to parade that would have to be disgusting for her, like if Noah was to come back and see that ring on her finger and know, are you kidding me? You're actually engaged to Grandpa? Right. That's, that's, <laughs> and I can't, uh, uh, Victor, I can't, you know, sometimes I can kind of see through. We never can <clears throat> predict him, but you right. can kind of get an edge on it. I, I just really don't know what he's up to other than trying to trick Adam. But seem he's seem there should be a better way mm -hmm. than to have everybody hating him. Right. Now, aren't you so happy and that all. Catherine is back? Oh. oh, I am so happy she's back. Yes. Oh. And even when Nikki went and hugged her, right. it was like... I know it wasn't like in the strip, but, you know, welcome back. But to me, I'm like, yes, welcome back. Give her a hug. Right. <laughs> I said the same thing. It was just like I tried to visualize her hugging the other lady like that. And I just don't believe it would have been as genuine. Oh, no. no <laughs> that was a like, hug like longtime lady. friend for 30-something years on the show with you. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> That, that was a sweet, okay, well, yes, yes. But I think, you know, I know she was hugging like I'm in trouble. I don't know what to do, but she was that genuine hug, you right. know. And I, that was really, that was really good. So yes, what was yes. Deacon's but part? But Catherine is going to work it. And Devon, yeah. and, ooh, wow, what do you think going to happen to uh, Devon's mother and Tucker? Well, did, did you see how, how they left out of there looking at each other? I I missed that part. What do you? What? Oh, 
Oh, yes. Well, Devon decided to let Tucker help him with the music business. Did he, he really? First, he was reluctant, <laughs> and but he decided that he said he had some contacts. But you know, Tucker, you know, we'll take it or leave it. And then when he did that, then uh, she said, "Oh, I was I saw something on uh, the TV, you know, on the internet," and she worked in, and and boy, and Neil was just standing back like. Oh, you know, I'm losing my son. He didn't say it, but you know, they was all, you know, working together for a moment there. Right, and all she three. Okay. Out with Tucker. Uh huh. Yes. Cause she's doing her thing over there at Restless Style. Her and Phyllis is getting along real good. Well, yes, and you know what? She might be uh, working. She might work with Catherine to really see what's. Uh, uh, you know what's really happened? What happened to Diane? Really, who actually killed Diane? Who put Nikki in that part with that ham, that blood and that rock? Mm. And I believe, really, Patty now he she had the medicine, but somebody really re-killed Diane. He said re-killed <laughs> her. Somebody <laughs> banged her head with that rock. That's true. That is true. That you know, is Patty true. Patty used the medicine, but uh, someone really made sure she was dead. I mean, come on, it gotta be. Deacon was recording it. Patty gave her the shot. And Adam beat her head up and then slung her into the river. <laughs> I mean, that's just, I mean, that's obvious. I'm sure they got to be able to, Jimmy, but you know, the writers can rewrite it because they feel like if it's too obvious, they can go back and change yeah. whatever they want to go and change. But of course, of I, course. I just believe that uh, Adam is definitely the corporate and, um, in, in, that, in that sense. And, uh, well, he bought Patty back. He helped right. her to escape. That's exactly, sure. from the very beginning. But what actually did the final blow and actually in this one, thank that one and this one. So it's narrowing it down, down, down. But by Roman working private detective and Phyllis going to work with Roman mm -hmm. and Paul working on with Roman. But yet these uh, players are all in there. Mm -hmm. And so it's very interesting how that's going to turn out. Mm hmm. Definitely. Now, yeah. <clears throat> What was I going to say? So, do you think Victoria and Billy are going to get divorced? Do you think that this is going to be something that's going to really break it up and this chick is going to come and somehow get a hold of him now that he's she's pregnant and you what is her what do you feel like her point or purpose is? Is it, you know, do you really well, think it's to create I, that wedge? I, I, I think she is her purpose is to break them up and she keeps saying, "I didn't know you exist." And she's like they had a courtship. Mm. Really was wrong. He was out of it. But she's making like, oh, your name never came up. I mm. asked him, well, why? If you're, you're sitting at a bar and this guy's making a play for you, the first thing you ask, are you married? Right. <laughs> are you sitting at a bar? <laughs> you, you fair game? <laughs> well, he said, Granny, the first you thing you ask is you married? You married? back home or whatever, you know? Right. Yeah, I definitely feel <laughs> so, that, that. I mean, it's, the strip is really too, it's like... Uh, it's really stripped it for her. It's like uh, you, you're dancing off of somebody else's music. Mm -hmm. Now, what I did, don't know. What did Ricky have against Phyllis again? Oh, you know, Ricky, Phyllis, when, 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 when she was fired from Rest the Style. Right. Mm -hmm. Then she went to Ricky, you know, for the pictures, and she was hating her sister. Right, right, right. And when they was going to court, he had taken some pictures. Adam had hired him to take the pictures. Right, now. I remember that. But then Phyllis realized the pictures was there, and he and she wanted him to, you know, display the pictures so Sharon would go to jail and all of that, mm -hmm. and uh, or wouldn't go to jail, so she could say she helped. Not helped her sister, but actually on the bottom line, helping Nick, per mm. se. But after all, they didn't have to use the pictures. So Phyllis stole the pictures anyway and put them on. Mm. But he would die his permission. So he was going to sue them, going to sue Phyllis. Right, I remember that. And right, right, right. Another day, they, they never got to that point. I remember when but, he came uh, into the police station, was just like, no. And he changed his mind. It was like, I'm going to hold the law, you know, the lawsuit against you for, you know, I forgot what they said it was going to be for like. Uh, I forgot the charge they put up against her, but so she let it go because saying that I can get you a job. Right. 
And so oh. then she got fired. She was working someplace else. As soon as he found out, she was back at wrestling <laughs> style. No, no, no. Where is my job? Right, me. right, right, right. Because I remember he booked <laughs> That's me what to. That's what you call a blackmail without blackmailing her. Right, right, right. <laughs> like, hold on. You already know. And even and see, he thought it was going to be really over when Nick was just like, I mean, when Billy was just like, oh, no, not you. You can't get up out of here. You, 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 no, 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 no. You can't hack into my stuff and be here. I mean, you would have thought that would have been it. But then he still had Boulder said he just reached out and looked at uh, Phyllis just like, whatever you better do, you better go ahead and do it. And it's That's amazing. you gave me the code. Right, right. <laughs> right. I didn't hack in them. I was, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You gave me the code. Right. <laughs> Would you like him so, to know that and, and change this up? Real fast. She she did it. I love when she do that thick <laughs> eye. She get a big old eyeballs and she gets she in the plot. Very, she just is her sister, a lawyer on one <laughs> hand, and she's on the other hand. So I uh, put those two together. They both uh, they are sisters. That's for sure. Right. They definitely just made them in a different direction. Mm -hmm. And I, I hopefully one day. Because they've been working together kind of indirectly, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, helping each other but not really helping each other. When Phyllis helps her, it's more like, don't act like you don't know. Yeah, I, I helped you out with that one. Just remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gave yeah. you that one. So Yeah, and it, and it comes back to that family line. So I'm wondering, what is Sharon mother going to say? Oh, my goodness. When she find out she accept that rank? Because her mother's a, a very level-headed lady. Well, her mama already thought when she was back with Adam and all that other garbage that she was a little overboard anyway. You know, like, what's going on with you? Um, I just really hope they don't make her out like a Brooke Logan off of Bold and the Beautiful. Like, because that's why I stopped oh. looking at it as much. Because Brooke was just getting too trifling at one point before all her sisters came on there. It was just like, Brooke then went through the whole family. Ridge. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Thorn. The daddy, it was just like, dang, then started going with the other brother, you know, the half brother. I was yeah, like, bring, good, bring good, her good, out, bring, Hope they turn around and bring Sharon, bring her back up with a touch of class. Right, like give her somebody yeah, with her some back, class. Bring her back, beautiful lady, bring her back up with a touch, of, a touch of class. Right, because I wonder what it has to be like, you know, when she maneuvers around on a regular basis. That has, I wonder it has to be tough because like like how you were with uh, a writer. So many people probably... <laughs> People might look at her and be like, whore! <laughs> and she'd be like, who, me? <laughs> Sweetie, that's just my character. You know? So I would uh, yes. I, I think about that to myself sometimes. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, that, that's all good. That's all good. Yeah, You have to really put the character with the person. And, and, but that means you're a very good actor. Though. Right. I mean, you're you absolutely know, right. You have people like, go in there. No, no, no. You know, very good actor. No, you're yeah. absolutely yeah. right. So really quick, we're going to take you into a, a, a definitely an after bus commercial plug really fast. We are the YNR recaps, the Younger the Rest is recaps, and we'll be right back to you in one second on After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. Hi, I was once like you, a lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag co-workers about it at the water cooler. Then I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzzTV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds, like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? What do you want to buzz about? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? We are so, so back. I'm your host, Brookshire, and we are here at After Buzz Studio, and we are the YNR Recaps, and we still got Granny Z in the house, and also DJ, I said DJ, Street Doctor, Dr. Phil up in his house. So, real quick, 
as we always do, we are going to take you into a new shift in the environment. And this is our prediction. You know, I always seem like the room and the environment shifts right around this time because we are going to bring you straight to the Granny Z reports. Granny Z, what you got for us? What you think's going to happen coming up? Well, I think coming up, uh, my prediction is that Adam is really, well, you know, Adam is actually, he's, he's Victor's son, and they Boy. both are <laughs> conniving, and they both are smart and tricky. Right. So Adam now has really got to go and see how to work Churn against Victor. First right. he was thinking <clears throat> Churn was really in his corner, right. and now he's got to revamp that. Right. And to get <laughs> at Victor at another way. Exactly. I that. And I predict that when um, Paul finds out, he will find out about Patty before Roman does, and when and then. So that's going to go a different, take a different turn. Mm. But Patty is really going to work that since she thinks her boss is thinking that's her husband after her. So mm. she's really going to set some tra traps for Genevieve. And that's Genevieve going to think it's her husband, but Patty's going to be getting rid of it. Because mm. Patty said, that's my house she's going to. That's my house. Right. So there's some, <laughs> there's some, some more surprises on the way. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. And what's your predictions going on with Victoria Billy situation? Well, uh, it's going to be rocky, but something is going to turn up that is going to show that this young lady is there underhanded. Now, the test will probably turn out that that's Billy's baby. But, mm. you know, you, you can work that. I right. mean, it's according to how devious the person is working it. Right, right, Especially right. Especially if it's Victor. You have right. It's a done deal. But we're not <laughs> sure. But um, it's something to watch. Something to watch. Next yeah. week should be exciting. Next week should definitely be exciting. I, I I do believe that. Now, do what? Any what is what about your predictions when it comes down to uh, harmony? Do you think the Tucker and Harmony thing? You think that that's gonna click? You think she'll be able to take her from Ashley? You think that's going? Well, I don't know how far it would go, but I think she will give uh, Ashley some sleepless nights because <sighs> you know they kind of look at each other and, and, and Harmony, you know. She's playing her part, you know. She's moving on up, classy, classy, classy. Right. You know, which she's a she's a very good actor, but they writing her up good. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the writers are working her in very good. Well, you know that's how they so did with Drusilla. To keep your eye on. Right. You know that's how they did with Drusilla. Although she I came think Neil, on. Neil has yeah, his eye on her too. So. Well, yeah, he ain't <laughs> that, lose that. To kind of keep your eye on there. Well, he better keep his eyes on that bulldog Sophia, cause she sure ain't gonna play that now that they married. <laughs> She is going to bite her oh, arm off. Oh, that's going to be very interesting. That's going to be, <laughs> woo, Clash yeah. of the Titans for real. I can definitely, I, I definitely dig that. Yeah, I, and I, I do believe that uh, Adam is going to try to figure out what he can do to be able to get Sharon to go against Victor. But Sharon got that rock on her finger, and she like going into La La Land. And She's, Yes, <sighs> but you know she likes Adam. So, I mean, Adam just got to get a scheme how to work her, you know. First he thought he could go that we really love each other, you know, that. So now he's got to go, and like I said, that's Victor's son, and uh, he, he's going to work it. it it's going to be very interesting. You know, Victor's going to come out. You right, know? right, so, right, right. We get, he's got to come out of that blue shirt. <laughs> mm, right, like, like, like my... he's, working, he's working behind the scene there. I mean, it is really... Not, I'm like, wow, anybody can just go to the prison at any time. Right. You ain't noticed hours. that, too? Shoot, they got visiting hours for a couple days. It's just like <laughs> anybody can come. They walk up in there, you see Deacon, it's just like, hold on, I thought you supposed to give a list of folks that are allowed to come in, like... Right, but what they're doing is switching passes. You know, she he stole Nikki's pass. And, oh, uh, out of that's her purse. right. He's looking for a charge card, and he said, "Oh." So, <laughs> what <are> you say? <laughs> he was looking for a charge card. I love when Nikki said, "Oh my God, you buy me such nice things with my money." <laughs> 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 but he, he knows Nick is playing him though, because remember, uh, uh, he kissed her and he kind of sniffed, you know, to see if she's drinking water or gin, right, or vodka or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he's on to her, 
but I don't know how that part is going to work out. I haven't kind of, I haven't figured that part out. That for, is for too how part gonna work funny. Out. It's going to be exciting going into Unless, next uh, week. Uh, Victor have him, you know, knocked off or something like that. Yeah, because I mean, like I told you from the news reports when we ca- talked a couple weeks ago that he's supposed to be exiting off the show. Now, I okay. do know that he's going to be coming back in the spring of the summer of 2012 of this year, but I know he's supposed to be exiting off soon, so his time is running very close. So, I mean, okay. I was hoping that it was going to be towards the end of December, so I'm guessing it's going to be more towards maybe January, February that you know, we'll see him come to an end and somehow maybe he'll get arrested or he'll be a part of this Patty situation because, you know, Victor, I mean, you know, she just brought on um, also Paul, uh, Nikki, to be able to look into more about what's the situation with Deacon and oh, where yeah. he was mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and, you know, and mm-hmm. his alibi, et cetera. So <clears throat> it's going to be quite, quite, quite interesting Yes, it's it's going to be like, okay, I don't want to miss that. I got to wait to see what's going to happen tomorrow. Oh, oh, please, no, no, no. Make that point at another time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that was a very good, and I was surprised that it was such a good two weeks in there, because usually right. we have a lot of rerun, you know, back, right, 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 you know, right. skipping back in the past, but very little. It was very, it, things was happening. A lot of surprises. Right, they was making sure they came into 2012 with you staying hooked with all yes, of the with things. A bang. Right, with a bang <laughs> the and bang with was really bitches. <laughs> right. And I love you, love you, love you, YNR for that. And that's why I'm a dedicated going on twenty six years now and counting and watching. <laughs> We've just made another <laughs> year. <laughs> yes. So definitely everybody, that was our predictions. And it is always so great, everybody. It was an amazing, amazing show. Definitely tune in to us, everyone. Tune in to us every Sunday at 3.15 here. Every Sunday at 3.15 right here. You can check us out on AfterBuzzTV.com. Also, definitely check us out on Ustream.tv backslash AfterBuzzTV. That's when we're live on Sundays at 3.15. Remember, everyone, keep your minds right and your heads tight. Granny Z, we love you so much. Thank you. Thank you again for another amazing week. For coming on. I appreciate all of you. Take Definitely. Care. And uh, Street Doctor DJ Dr. Phil, we appreciate you, brother, for keeping us looking good. Yes. Thank you again uh, for making history with us, brother. And to all of our fans and to all of my fans, make sure you check me out also when I'm not here at LOV923.com. And then next we have at 415 the own the Oprah recap. Everything changing your life. We got some great things happening, some key points coming up that's going to be able to give you food for thought to take you to the next year successfully through this year and infinity and beyond, I guess that's how they say on Toy Story. So everybody, have an amazing day and until next time, we'll talk. Peace. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.